We're about to watch the viral Xavier Restrepo catch from spring practice and react to it together. This thing is blowing up and has almost half a million views on social media right now. And it has lots of fans talking, both Miami fans and opposing teams fans. What's going on, Canes fans? This might be a first time ever for this channel. Watching literally one play from practice and reacting to it. The reason for this is there's a lot of... I don't know if controversy is even the right word to put out there. This, this is literally a catch at spring practice. Now, I'm not downplaying it. This catch is is insane. I've, I've honestly already seen it. I'll be honest with you, but I wanted to share it in case you hadn't seen it. But there are a lot of Canes fans jumping to conclusions after seeing this catch. But then there's also a lot of fans who are being super negative about it. So it's almost like there's no in-between here with this. It's, it's your one extreme or the other. And I wanted to take a moment and just look at it and let's talk about it down in the comments. So without further ado, you're not here to see me. You're here to see this catch. We'll watch it first. We'll play the full thing. Then we'll go back and replay it, break it down, and then we'll talk about it a little more. So this is it. This is courtesy of Canes Football. Go follow them on Facebook, Twitter, X, Instagram. If there's a social media platform out there, follow Canes Football. This is their clip from spring practice. And this is a pass from Cam Ward to Xavier Restrepo with Powell guarding him, the, um, the Washington transfer. So here we go. No sound because they laid music over it. Okay. Okay. Now, I told you guys I had already seen it, so I'm not going to overreact here, but boy, heck of a catch, right? Like here, we'll, we'll break it down real quick. And then we'll talk about why there's this big controversy surrounding the catch. So we'll go 50% speed here. What I really love is seeing Restrepo's ability to track the ball. Because the, the this is a crazy throw, honestly. This is where only Restrepo is going to be able to catch this, if even Restrepo can catch it. You know, his, he's able to kind of contort his body here, track the ball, and he comes away with a catch here over Powell. If you notice, Powell can't even believe it. He's blown away that, that XR7 came down with that ball. And I like the the chirping here, the, the little bit of talking, because it's, it's competition. We always talk about iron sharpens iron. We want guys out there jawing it up with each other a little bit, getting excited. You see Jakari Brown running over to celebrate with him. Everybody going crazy. Just an insane catch, honestly. It, it really, truly was an insane, mind-blowing catch there. Now, let's, let's break it down even more here. Because I saw with Kane's insight, D-Money, and I actually respect D-Money a lot. I've, I haven't had the pleasure of meeting him, I don't believe, but I've met Peter Ariz, who does a lot of stuff with Kane's insight as well. And part of the reason this is blowing up is because D-Money put out a tweet saying that He's been going to Green Tree for 30 plus years and he's never seen a catch bigger or better than this one right here. Now, I don't know, you know, that, that that's his opinion, you know? Like it sure it might it might seem like a bit of a stretch, but that is his opinion. So, he's getting a lot of pushback from opposing teams fans and other Canes fans because they believe that it's jumping to conclusions. And they say, oh, well, Miami's going to win a national championship now. And now we're the greatest team ever. And Cam Ward is this amazing quarterback. It, to be fair, he never said that. He just said this is one of the craziest, biggest catches that he personally has ever seen. So that could be true. I saw a lot of other people saying, well, what about the spring practice from the 2001 Miami Hurricanes team? Bro, it's a different era. Uh, social media really wasn't a thing back then. There wasn't much with the internet, so there weren't a lot of videos and clips and things floating around, so you have to remember that. But another thing that I think is funny is the people that are dogging Cam Ward saying that this is a trash throw. Bro, look, 
this is a this is a drill at spring practice. If this were a live game, there is a chance that Cam Ward doesn't even attempt this throw because Restrepo is maybe covered too well. So maybe he looks to another receiver or a tight end. You know, maybe he checks it down. Maybe he scrambles or maybe he throws the ball away. And I know that they're just trolling. But I it's so funny when I see people saying, you know, that this throw is so terrible and Restrepo had to work extra hard to get to the ball. What's going on? This QB sucks. He has to throw the ball here. This is a rep. You don't waste a rep. You you don't throw it away. He does, Cam Ward doesn't it, this is Restrepo versus Powell with Cam Ward throwing the ball. He cannot sit back in the pocket and just put the ball down and say, oh, well, uh, Restrepo wasn't open, so I didn't throw it. You don't throw it away. You put it up there and give your receiver an opportunity to make a play, to put in some work. So anyone saying that he shouldn't have thrown that or in a game it would be picked off, this is not a game. It's practice. Use your brain. That just blew my mind seeing people say that. And it, it is impressive that he was able to put it to where only Restrepo could get to it because Powell seemed to have pretty good coverage there. You know, Restrepo might have had a step on him. I couldn't tell if they tried to throw a flag here. You know, they have officials here at practice, and it looks like they tried to throw a flag on it. We can't see what type of contact there was before Cam Ward actually unleashes and throws the ball here. I think it's a well-placed ball given the circumstances. And it was where only Restrepo was going to be able to catch it if Restrepo even could. And he works a, a Christmas miracle in March and comes down with that catch. And that's something that Restrepo does. He fights for the ball. He's one of the hardest workers in the room. He will give 100% every down, every single play. You best believe that XR7 is going to fight. So you can honestly argue both sides of this uh, there are people overreacting in a good way and there are people overreacting in a bad way at the end of the day it is just practice it's just spring practice so i'm not going to watch a guy make a, a crazy cool awesome catch and then say based off of that miami is winning 10 plus games this season if you want to do that that's okay I just really wanted to show the clip. I wanted to react to it. I wanted to talk about it for a minute because it's it's creating a lot of chaos on the timeline. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with, with being super excited about seeing that. Restrepo is going to put in work this season. He led in receptions and receiving yards last year. And I know that there was a lot of chemistry between him and TVD, but I will never understand the Restrepo slander. We have shut it down on this channel. I think a lot of people carried over the hate from Tyler Van Dyke and then put that over on Restrepo because they were buddies. They were asking Restrepo the other day after practice how he felt about Tyler Van Dyke leaving, and he said, TBD's not my girlfriend. Like, why, why, why do people keep asking him about that? The focus now is on the quarterbacks that are here. Now, TBD transferred. He's gone. He left. Restrepo, I think, is still a good, solid receiver. He may not take the top off of the defense. He may not be, uh, you know, a yak man, but he is a he's a chain mover. He's a, he's a sure-handed. He's got certified hands, and I don't think that anyone can deny that. But I'm not going to make any crazy assumptions based off of one catch. But I absolutely will applaud it. Yeah, that was a, a crazy catch. Super impressive. And in a game, would it have went down like that? Probably not. But would Cam Ward have thrown it in the first place? Maybe. Maybe not. It depends on the situation, the down and distance, how much time is left in the game. Were we trying to be super aggressive because we were trying to come back? People are overanalyzing it a bit when it's a rep at spring practice. Like I said, Cam Ward's got to make the throw, whatever the circumstances are, and you give Restrepo a shot to make a play. Otherwise, you're wasting a rep. It's as simple as that. But the catch was impressive. The throw was where it had to be in that particular situation. It was pretty cool to see. Pretty wild to see, man. Restrepo just putting in so much work. And 
Cam Ward is going to have a connection with that dude. I mean, Restrepo was the, if I'm not mistaken, the first person pretty much to get in contact with Ward and hang out with him once he came to Miami, like as far as player, player and player interaction goes. So I'm excited to watch that connection this season. Should only get better. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Do you think people are freaking out too much? Let me know what you think. Remember though, guys, we're all one big happy college football family, but at the end of the day, I got to say, it's always better when you get to rep the U. Coach Coop, peace out. I'll see y'all in the next one.